What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's MLB The Show 22 video, I'm gonna be going over the three best stub methods in the game. We're gonna start with the worst stub method, and then we're gonna work our way up to the best and most efficient way to make stubs in the game. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video. It helps the algorithm. Make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Turn your notifications on. MVPs, where you at? Go in the comment section and say MVP. Let's get into these shout outs. We got a shout out for Hector the King. We got a shout out for D Money YouTube. And we also got a shout out for your cool friend and KC Orby. If you want a chance to be shouted out, be active on the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video, and go ham in the comment section. Let's get into today's method. If you're looking for a super, super fun and easy, way to earn extra money follow me on underdog fantasy and use code fat dollars for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks all you got to do is come in here make one dollar bets two dollar bets three dollar bets it don't matter choose your players come over to the right put the amount in one dollar bet you have a chance to win three dollars back i will be giving you guys free picks Follow me on my Twitter and I will give you a Discord link and let's have some fun. All right, so the least efficient way to make stubs right now is flipping on the market because the market is constantly every seven to 10 minutes fluctuating. So as you can see right here, I was buying the Jordan Walkers for 13,000 and he was selling for about 16.4. Then by the time my purchase order went through, he went down to 15,000. So I was only able to make about 250 to 300 stubs. But right here, this Jim Palmer, I was able to buy for 7,825, sell for 9,335 and make little over a thousand stub profit. Now this same card right here went down to about 4,700, 5,000 stubs. So once you find a nice gap, try to look for seven to a thousand gap in between and then try to stay around the 2000 range for the taxes. That will help you out tremendously. But after the game is officially released tonight, this method will become way, way better. Now, the second way to make a lot of stubs is going to be based off of packs is the conquest map. As you can see on the USA map, I'm about 65 to 70 percent done and then once you get all these done you're going to get a whole bunch of show packs that's going to give you a chance to make between 5,000 and 50,000 stubs every single time or you can get super duper lucky and then get yourself a mic trout okay so you're going to begin these prospect packs you're going to begin show packs a lot of packs that's going to give you value these packs early, you want to sell, sell, sell because the market over the next four to five days will drop down, even though there will be another increase. So doing the conquest is going to get you free packs in free packs is stub opportunities. OK, so make sure that you take advantage of that. Now, with them packs, as you can see right here, you come to the packs. We go to these packs. I got 15 show packs so far. One balling is a habit. And then my face of the franchise packs from playing the conquest and my ball player, which is the number one method. The ball player method is the number one method. And we're going to get into that right fast. Now I'm going to break down how to exactly set this ball player up so it can be just like mine. I am using a starting pitcher. You're going to be getting about three to thirty five hundred XP every seven to eight minutes. You're going to be getting twenty seven to thirty two thousand XP every single hour. And then on all these tiers right here, you go to your ball player, you go to loadout and you come down here to program. This is very, very fast. I'm only seven away from getting to the next silver tier that's going to give me more xp and then on all these little things right here is more stubs the higher you go up from bronze to silver silver to gold gold to diamond is going to be even more and more so right here it will start being at 8,000 xp every single time now for the pitcher it's super fast you're going to get three six nine twelve every time that you play 10 strikeouts is three six innings pitch is three three putouts 
three assists now these are nine repeatable down here you're going to get this 30 right off the rip okay but this right here is going to be 12 every single time that you play so 12 12 12 12 all the way till you get to 100 now the better your guy get the more strikeouts he's going to have and then you can exit out after the sixth inning so you don't have to play the full game until they take you out as your guy gets better you can take him out after the six innings and then all this will restart so you will begin your 12 your 12 your 12 and every five to six minutes that's a game and in the first hour and a half hour and 45 minutes you should be through each tier so about three and a half hours total you should be all the way almost end with the goal or you should be close to the diamond all right so we are in the top of the six picking up right here and I'm just throwing these super fast pitches that's moving. I'm going to show you exactly how to make your ball player exactly like mine is right here. So we need another strike to get out of this inning. Boom. Okay, so he makes contact. We are up 5-0. to zero. Got the best roster in the game. It's going to help speed up the process. Now, we're going to come right here so we can get max XP. So we in the seventh. After this inning, I'm going to simulate. Try to get another one or two strikeouts. Your pitch is going to be kind of slow in the first 45 minutes, around 90, 92 miles per hour. But then in about an hour and a half, you should be at 94, 95 miles per hour like I'm doing right now. And then they have perks that later on when your guy get tired, he gets a little more speed on his pitch for some reason. So that's one of the perks that I'm using right now. And then I'm going to show you exactly how to make this ball player that I'm using throw this little sidearm the best pitches to use and all that type of stuff in tomorrow's video so make sure that you drop a thumbs up if you want that and then right here we're just trying to get this last strikeout and then i can simulate to the end so he does get a hit we're going to throw him out right there boom end of the inning takes about six and a half minutes at the most now we're going to come over here to exit because that was the last part we're going to go ahead and skip this get all the way to the end of the game everything up to where i exited at is going to count so i get 1641 xp for the gameplay now that's for the gameplay then you also have the xp tiers in the program okay so that's where you're going to be getting them big bonuses at, and you're going to get that about four or five times so we get 3641 xp plus an extra 1019 stubs right there and we get our next archetype okay and remember all of these are sellable you want to sell as much stuff as possible right now before the game officially releases now we're just going to back out real quick we're going to go into diamond dynasty now and then all this helps at one time so you're going to be playing road to the show you're going to be playing conquest and you're going to be knocking out three to four things at once so we're going to come right here and you can see we got a new perk we got a new classic stadium that you can sell then we got these nl west and al west so we're going to come right here to our new perks and these perks are going to help my ball player out so we get both of these painted cheese filthy cheese so i can work both of these i can go through the painted cheese get all the xp from that then i can turn around and go to filthy cheese get all the xp for that that'd be double xp when you go from bronze it's a lower tier silver is going to be even more xp at the end so you'll be getting four five thousand per tier and then the golds and the diamond six seven thousand 8,000 XP, so 8, 16, 24, 32, that's when you start getting a lot of XP per hour, uh, 40, 50,000 XP per hour, okay? So so these face of the franchise right here at the bottom say sell now, but I don't think you can really sell them. So we got that one right there, not the worst, but he is a good player. That means that if you have somebody out of your packs in a certain position, you can sell them off and then keep the non-sellable. I think this is the bet catcher. This is probably one of the worst ones, I think. Is it him? Let me see. Okay, no, so that's the other bet catcher. So he's not as bad as the uh, guy that I was thinking, Sean Button or something like that. So right here, you got this bet catcher right here that you get for free, 29,100. I don't think you can really sell it, but it does pop on there. You're gonna get this classic stadium. Here is another free stub. So you can pick that right there. That's another 1,200 stub. So this is by far the best stuff. Matthew, I'm going to keep all my packs. Only time I open my packs is when I finish Conquest and I have at least 40 packs. I feel like 40 packs, I'll give you a chance at one, maybe two diamonds. Mike can get something glitchy. If you're ready for the ball player setup, drop a thumbs up on the video and I'll see y'all.